What's good, y'all? So I wanted to come to y'all and talk to y'all about my abilities. Um, so from a young age, um, I was prophetic. I knew what was going to happen. I knew someone was going to die. I knew someone was going to anything. Something major happened, dealing with the heart. I knew that that's where my abilities come from, right? I was that. I was um, also born for my own drugs. I was put in foster care. I had like two stepmothers who abused the hell out of me, mentally, physically. Uh, and then a family, I was bullied by everyone in my family. Um, and then was ostracized, was ostracized by, God bless you, was ostracized by um, family because I was different. Um, so, it was a lot, but I ruled with my heart. I loved regardless. I forgave regardless, right? And I just assumed that, you know, because I ended up homeless because I couldn't go back home. I was in the military. I ended up on drugs. I only beat a couple of times. Um, and all of this is to say that uh, I needed to go through these things in order to was to see if I was going, if it was going to break me. And it did. So then I eventually found out, actually when I was homeless, I went to go see a medium, and the medium told me that I was special. And you know, at that time, I'm like, what's the mean? I don't see nothing. She's like, you He was like, don't even worry, you're special, you're extra special. I'm like, okay. So then, um, I go see another psychic and my eyes just some powder. And she like, you cannot come in here for this respect spirit. And I started thinking, and I'm like, you know what, she's gonna that so disrespect. So so then um, after that time went by, I'm going through the motions, like, you know, because I don't consider myself an LGBTQ, but then I don't consider myself straight either. I just love everybody. So, you know, I can fit in nobody's world, but spiritual world. So then that's my plan, that's my people, you know. Um, so then eventually, um, as time progressed, I made my way through the ostracized and lied on. Lied and lied on my character, it's crazy, like, narcissism is real. People really hate me for, because of who you are. And it's like this jealousy thing, like people just be jealous. And I, I just never got that. I never understood it. Um, but I was really hated and really cool because of that. And probably still so now, but I, that don't resonate with me because I'm covered by the divine. So I don't know what's going on that way or any other way. <laughs> you know. But um, all that stuff held a weight on me and caused me to keep me from my mission of God. But once I realized who I was. I went into a magic shop and this um, high priest, she owned this shop and she said that I was an ancient Egyptian pharaoh priest. Back in Jesus, when the pharaoh was the priest, ancient, ancient. And she said, I'm very powerful and I hold a lot of power and I've lived many lives. And many lives I was priest, magician, um, and I was really prestigious. Um, who carried a lot of weight. And after that, I went to a drum ceremony and I seen a white belt. So after I seen this white belt, I was just a step. I seen a white belt. And I went to this trance. And I remember a white belt from this movie that I watched on Netflix where they used the amber and they had the amber. He gave them the strength of God. And so they had to get energy so nothing to hurt them. That's how they fought the darkness. So I was like, oh, I've seen an elf. So when I was telling everybody else I've seen an elf, she's a wicked. I'm not a, I don't do this crap at all. I'm a light worker, so I help the life to save my life. And that's what I do. I'm nothing bad. And so, you know, she literally, I see her eyes, like, she, you know, it was literally, um, I loved her in it. And um, she really loved on me a little bit. Um, but then I felt like I needed to, after this, I needed more things needed to take place. I needed to be more obedient. So I started taking baths every day. She saw baths with candles. I can't not see the bath without a candle. I will always have my monster with it. She used to always look right here. Look up, Listen. 
Oh, that's my best friend. Uh, but he marked me at birth with a sacred heart, and that's what that means, I suppose. But now I know why. So I started seeing guardian angels. And after guardian angels, I just started seeing mothers, fathers, brothers, sisters. Then I started seeing pets. Then I started seeing images of like butterflies, wings, roses. Um, and now everything is coming into a to where um, I'm being, I've been obedient. I, I'm sober. I'm here. Okay. I ascended. So I'm protected by God. I can I connect directly to source. I connect to the um, angels. I also connect to extraterrestrials who are angels. You know, if you guys know angel aliens, but they are extraterrestrials. Yes, sir. Okay. Um, so, and I also are directly connected to my ancestors because my spirit wasn't able to take to my flesh levels and to my DNA and for those to my family photos. So, because you know, you know, I gotta give props and give love to the day. Okay, Jesus, I pray Thomas to him every day for the, the heart that he gave me in order for me to do what I do. Um, because my abilities are go through my heart and comes up to my third eye. So my abilities are led with my heart. You know what I'm saying? So I thank him, you know, but after this whole process, now I'm starting to connect to you, starting to see more, and I'm starting to be divinely guided to somewhere of which I have no clue. I'm nervous, but Spirit is telling me that um, I am, I have to be spiritual perfect. So, and I'm not perfect, and I'm humbly receive that. Um, my flesh is still toxic in some way that I'm working out and I'm pregnant. This is why I still smoke weed. Which is not a problem, it's natural. But it's never, it's no. Uh, I might smoke too much. <laughs> okay. Uh, but I'm working that out. You feel me? And I will work that out. So, um, but anything else, maybe I'm sober and I'm loving it. And I'm here for it. I'm here for spirit. I'm here for Jesus. I'm here for the movement. And I'm here to leave you to love and light. It is a new world of love and light. And I'm um, optimistic to make sure that that happens. And do whatever I can do to help the cause. And so that's how we're here. And so, you know, if you would like to, there's an appointment with me, Sterling. Uh, www.spiritbeings888.com Okay um, Website www.spiritbeings888.com Facebook Spiritbeings888 And also Instagram Spiritbeings888 YouTube Spiritbeings888 I have power, uh, power thoughts Affirmations Angel numbers I have journals From people that I just run into That are spirits told me Such as I can get to You know For these journals I actually have a lot of wisdom Right? Um, so I'm just a static at the future. I don't know what what spirit has for me. And and you know my son, my family, my son is also special, so I gotta make sure he has the value for me. I'm going to be about to study the word of God authentically. Okay? Um just a misconception, I love the Bible. Um I love Scripture, um, but sometimes we gotta um, spiritually think outside of the box. I think the Bible has a lot of people thinking with their flesh and not thinking with their hearts. Okay, and that's where we lose a lot of the substance of the Bible. Jesus, God is not no asshole. He's not funny. It's amazing. You know. Um, so. My name is Jamil. Um, the ace is put in there. It's not so, but it, I'm still Jamil. So it was given to me by birth. Um, but I am that I am. I never thought that I would be, but I am. And I am him. So please hit me up. I'm here to lead the love to life. Understanding love. Okay? Um, Please continue to love on me. I'm going to continue to love on y'all. 
you know, I'm, I'm excited. You know, um, it's a, it means a lot to me to see the love and life in, the, in the, my peers and my eyes when it comes in the You know, I, I just love the happiness in my soul. And it just makes me elated. You feel me? Like, I'm so excited when Spirit come in. But, I just wanted to say that story for some place. All y'all don't know where I come from, but I've, I've been through the mud. I've been through the mud. Like, the quicksand. But guess what? I made it through the mud. And I did it. I took it easy. I took it easy. Don't worry about me. I love you guys. I'm aesthetic. Please continue to love me. I love you. I have a love on you all day. Like, I'm going to post, post, post. And I'm going to continue to evolve the sin. And um, I'm here for it.